Hello everyone and welcome to WBS4. In WBS4 we're learning about project scheduling. This is all about determining how long it's going to take from beginning to end to deliver this project. The trick is you can't really know how long the overall project is going to take until you've sequenced or produced a logical sequence of all of your activities. Remember that some activities happen in series, one after another, while others happen in parallel. For instance, let's take it something as simple as making a cup of coffee. We know that if we added up all the times of all the activities required to make a cup of coffee, from putting in the coffee, the water, brewing it, getting your cup, your cream, your sugar, your spoon, if you added up all those times, uh, that would not be the accurate view of how long it takes to brew a coffee, a uh, cup of coffee. And the reason is brewing, coffee brewing, takes longer than anything else. So while the coffee is brewing, you can do other things, like get your cup, cream, sugar, spoon. So there's a lot of things that can be done in parallel, although brewing is on the longest path of uh, the uh, schedule to brew a cup of coffee. Now other things must be done in sequence. For example, you can't brew coffee unless you've poured in water and uh, put in your coffee grounds and put in your filter and so on. That's a simple example. Uh, and we could obviously see which path is the longest in brewing a cup of coffee. The problem is uh, very complex projects with hundreds and maybe thousands of tasks or even tens of tasks. It's sometimes not so easy to determine which is the longest path, which is why we have an algorithm we use to determine what the longest path is. That algorithm uses the forward pass and then the backward pass. And the whole purpose for this is to determine which path is the longest. In this course, we learn to do it by hand, and in this week, you will see all the videos from the course author, which explains how to do this and give you a few examples. So I strongly encourage you to look at all of the uh, videos presented by the course author, offer, author for building a network diagram and running the forward and backward pass. Remember that this week's assignments, uh, you're expected to do them by hand, just like the author does. The reason is that MS Project does all of this for you automatically. You don't have to do forward and backward passes because Microsoft Project has that built-in algorithm. So there's really no need to submit an MS Project schedule because you can't even do what, we're, what you're being tasked with this week with MS Project because what you're being tasked with is creating forward and backward passes in order to manually determine what's the longest path in the project. So remember, when you're creating your project schedule, it's all about determining the logical sequence of events. Uh, what are the predecessors? That means what follows logically from other things. What are the successors? What must happen before something else? What happens in series? What happens in parallel? Using the algorithm of the forward and backward pass so you can determine which path is the longest. Once you do find which path is the longest, you'll see that other paths that aren't the longest I have something called slack. That means task on the path that is not the longest and is not the critical path, uh, you can start things later and still not delay the whole project. So you may ask why the emphasis on finding the project critical path? Well the critical path is the longest path in the project and it's the shortest possible time in which you can complete the overall project. Also if any activity on the critical path slips or is delayed in some way, the overall project is delayed. So it's very important that you know how to determine this. So just to conclude, please go into uh, WBS4, look at the uh, videos from the author to make sure you understand how to do a forward and backward pass. And remember that the whole point of doing this is so you can find the longest path in the project, which is the shortest possible time in which the project can be completed. So I'll see you in the discussion threads and welcome to WBS4.